Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Here's an easy step-by-step -step way to take a basic skirt and bring it in to fit you perfectly. All right, one of the easiest things you can do when you first learn to sew is take in a basic skirt. It doesn't have to be knitted like this. It could be any material, but if it has an elastic waist and no pockets, it's super easy. And pants are the exact same way if they have an elastic waist and no pockets. So so all you're gonna do is turn it on inside out. You can see it is inside out. You see the seam right there and the tag in the back. So you just try it on inside out and you are just going to pinch at the waist how you want it to fit and add pins. I always add my pins going up and down. That way they're not going towards me and they won't stick me or at least that's the hope. And you wanna to try to do it evenly on both sides. And then you just keep going down adding pins and you also want to make sure if there's a seam on the side you grab the seam don't do like this where the front part is grabbed more than the back grab the seam and make sure you're pulling that so the seam is out and it's even on the front and the back all right want to make sure i got enough room to walk keep going down adding pins all right so then once you have the pins in, you wanna like move around a little bit, not a whole lot because you're just held by pins, but you wanna move around a little bit and make sure that you feel comfortable in it. Look at it from different angles. And I think I'm gonna add another pin right here because that's where my hip is and I wanna make sure I get that hip curve right because that is not going to be, it might be a little bit further out, especially if you are hippy. Um, it'll probably be a little bit further out than right here at your waist. So I'm gonna add a pin right there to make sure I get it exactly right. All right, there we go. Now, we, you can go ahead and take it off carefully um, to make sure you don't stick yourself and to make sure you don't lose any of your pins. If you need to take in the waistband, you also add pins right at the waistband as well. Here are my pins going down. You can see it's making a little curve. It's further out right here because that's where my hips are, um, the little that I have. And it goes out and then it goes in towards the legs because I really want it to be like, you know, like a bodycon skirt, a fitted skirt. So there's a couple of things you need to do when you come back from that. You want to, like I said, make sure it is flat on the side and that your hem is lining up. My hem is not lining up. So that means I need to move a couple of these pins. So all I'm gonna do, I'll get a marker. If your skirt is dark, you can use a sliver of soap. I like to use these, it's the last bit of soap. I don't throw them away, I use them to mark garments. Or you can use a marker, uh, some type of marker. This is a heat erasable marker so that it will come off once I iron or wash. Um, you can also use chalk. So I'm gonna mark each pin just to be safe so that when I move the pin, I'll know where to put the pin back. All right, so what I'm gonna do is carefully move and flatten. Now the reason I moved this one over slightly is because of the way I had it, it made it move way over and I don't want to lose too much. So I would rather not sew it enough and then go back and sew again than to sew too much. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is connect the dots. You can go to the sewing machine with the pins in and that's perfectly fine. But what you don't wanna do, especially on this side, cause they're a little bit more weird. You don't wanna be going z, 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 z. That's not, you need a curve. Just like your body curves, you want a curve. And so all I wanna do is kinda connect so that this is an actual curve. So I think what I'm gonna do is take out the, take out the pins and go ahead and roughly connect this as a curved shape. Now, your curve can go in and out, but it still should be a curve, all right? And once I get to the bottom, I'm just going to go straight down. So it mimics my body. So hips, waist. Now we can take it to the sewing machine 
and we can go ahead and sew. You want, probably want to do kind of a long stitch length, something easy to take out and then try it on, see if it fits and then do a permanent stitch. All right, so now I have it back on and you can see that it fits much better. It's hugging the curves, still gives me enough room to walk. It's more snatched. <laughs> so that's the way I want it to fit. If your first try is not the way you want it to fit, then you go back and you make those adjustments. Say for instance, I still wanted it more in, like I wanted it more in, then I would just go back from, you know, just like the beginning and add pins and do that process all over again. When you get to the point where you're satisfied with it, then you can go ahead and cut off the excess and finish the edges. What I forgot to say is you definitely want to, once you're satisfied, go back and sew with a regular stitch length. I am going to go ahead and just serge it and use that as my stitch. But I will show you first how to finish the edges if you don't have a serger. So you're gonna simply just choose a zigzag stitch and you want one that is, it is, it can be wide, it doesn't matter, but you want it to be a little bit closer together than this. So I'm going to make those zigzags come in a bit. So I did point 0.9. So if you do a uh, stitch length one, and then this one is kind of wide, 3.6, but I'm gonna leave it there for now and see what happens. And you can see that zigzag stitch right on the end and that's gonna just keep your ends from loosening because this is a sweater material, but no matter what material it, it is, no matter whether it is like a suiting material, whatever it is, if it frays, you can add a zigzag stitch to the edge and that's gonna keep it from fraying to your seam and then your seam won't open up on you and have you out here in these streets, <laughs> all right? And lastly, when you are making your permanent stitch, make sure that you back stitch at the waistband and at the hem of the skirt. You don't want your seams to start to come apart. Now, that's so much better. So much better. The only thing that would make it even better is if it had pockets, but, um, yeah, you can't ask too much from a fitted skirt because then the pockets would gape. But I am really happy with it. And now it is time to dye it. If you wanna see how it turns out, like ultimately, then check out one of my other videos. I just want to help everybody to be able to love their wardrobe. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely it. We have other basic, easy beginner videos, um, alterations and upcycles right here for you to watch. And I will see you in the next one. All right, bye.